Hey guys, Tony Skull YT here, and in today's video, I have a five of my personal favorite vehicles that I'm going to be showing you guys. So let's get started. The first one is the telekinesis gun. This gun was inspired off of a um, a vehicle that a person showed me when I was hosting one of my exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark build and test servers. This guy, he put a bunch of magnets on a car and had them detach with the uh, gimbal jets. It was supposed to pick up your car and, uh, like, pull it to the air so it can't move, but ended up doing some glitch where you can control me. And I figured out what does the glitch. It's actually the magnets, and I implemented that into a, um, a turret. So that's how I made the telekinesis gun. It's very fun. You can play with this with your friends. It's really simple. You can get seats going supersonic. It can also lift very heavy objects like you see in the video. Now we're going to play a little segment. I hope you guys like that because I'm about to get copyrighted. And two, we have Golden Glory, the um, 2,000 kilometers plus tiny little go kart. So I made this thing when I was playing in a server with Slaz underscore Snipes and Nanodude05. Uh, Slaz, he challenged me to a race, and I already knew that I was gonna lose, because it's literally Slaz. And I saw he had this tiny little go-kart, and I was like, Hey, that thing is going supersonic, and I want one. So I did that. I made the MK1. And then a uh, few weeks later, I ended up making the MK2. And then a year later, I ended up making the MK3, which can reach up to 3,000 kilometers per hour. But, like, the MK2, I've been using it for so long. It's just, like, more OG than the MK3, I guess, with the MK3. It has a little bit worse acceleration, but over time, it can reach higher speeds. And, um... You can win, like, tons of races with this. I'm going to have this vehicle in the description. I'm going to have all the vehicles in the description, if you guys, um, like them. Now moving on to number three, we have this weird rammer thing. I, I didn't originally build it, I just put magnets and a bow on it. I will link the original creator in the comments. And, um, this thing's really good at taking out air vehicles, land vehicles, water vehicles, about anything. It's really fast, really maneuverable. You could use your um your mouse to control where it goes. Left shift to explode it. I've been using this thing for like about a week. Everyone's like, whoa, can I try that? It's like pr it's pretty overpowered. I I saw a post where um now dude oh five he did the um the levitation glitch, which I'll put in the top right of your screen right now. And he put anchor pins on that, or on the front, and made them float since anchor pins are invincible, quote unquote. And I have done that too, and it's not like as powerful. There's a bunch of drag, and I don't really want to drag it. It takes a little bit to set up. But it's still really powerful. You could take about, you could take out like almost anything, which is like pretty impressive. So. Now, going on to our next vehicle, we have, um, hold on. Yeah, there we go. We have got the, um, it's unnamed. It's a flyer that goes up to 3,000 kilometers per hour to 4,000 kilometers per hour. I made this off of the Weeping Angel, because some person was like, Hey, do you have any supersonic flyers? And, um, I was like, yeah, I kind of do, and I showed him the Weeping Angel. And I kind of just thought about it, and it's like, Hey, this thing doesn't actually, um, fly. It only goes side to side. Well, it can't- it hovers, it hovers. So, I decided to work on a version that actually flies. This is really controllable. 
It does use core, sadly, only for the powered tail fins, but it is really good, as you can see. It's going almost 4,000 kilometers per hour. It can do a bunch of flips really fast, as you saw. It can turn really smoothly. And, um, it's pretty impressive. Lots of people like it. And, um, what else is about it? It didn't really take me that long to make. It's just a version of the Weeping Angel. But I just put some power tail pins on it. It's literally just as simple as that. And now we are going on to this one. This one. This one has a lot of story. I don't know what to call it. It's um I think I I think Land Rider works good. But um I've been so okay. Long story short. Nano dude and O5 and me were in a server and he showed me this. And it was like, I'll let you keep it if you can catch it. And uh I didn't catch it. But it was really cool. It wasn't specifically this. His was probably better. And um I got a lot of inspiration to make one and I've been trying on and off a like a lot studying his videos. I took a bunch of screenshots of his vehicle and the uh, videos which he doesn't know about. And I eventually um found plus Sebastian quote unquote and he uploaded a version and when Nano Dude saw Sebastian's, he made his own. So, uh, I took Sebastian's, and I got a mix of Nano Dude's vehicle, and I kind of mixed them together, and I made this. Which is really fast, really impressive, and really fun. It does break sometimes when you hit trees and small objects and fences, but, eh, it's fine. Alright. I think that's going to almost, uh, conclude it for this video. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, then, uh... Let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys later. Peace!